years uh, making their money on war. And so they need war. And, and the, the world does not need war. The era of war is over. And, well, it's, and so, it's their game. It's the only game they know. They know it very well. Well, we've got to find them something new to do. You've got to let, you know, like, all these generals in the Pentagon, as soon as they retire, they say war is a bad thing. But while they're there, that's where they're getting their salary. So they cannot say that. So these people have to have something else to do. You've got to protect the Pentagon. You've got to give them a new mission. And I've always argued their mission should be to save the planet and explore the universe. Uh, instead of figuring out ways to kill Iraqis, you know, and steal oil. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and they could do it. They could, okay. for example, modernize Africa in five years. There's so many things they could do. So they don't have to worry about losing their, you know, lucrative rackets. They can do it and be good for the planet at the same time. That's what I'm trying to tell these people. There's no need to be scared of peace. There's a good line to uh, take another call on. There is no reason to be scared of peace. Joan... In Arizona. Hi, Joan. You're on the air, Joan. Is Joan still there? Hi, Joan. Hello? I, I hear someone. Are you there, Joan? Okay, John? Joan, Joan is not there. John is in Canada. Are you there, John? I'm here. Hi, John. Welcome to the program. Thanks. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Ben. Uh, uh, two questions. Uh, first one is, uh, when it comes to the depopulation thing, one thing that I've, I've known with all the research I've done, uh, that idea, as far as I know, isn't just a, a Rockefeller thing. That it's uh, many families have uh, have uh, seemed to have that same idea. That's number one. I just wanted to get your comment on that. And the second one is uh, the recent import issues that we've been having in in North America. If there was any link. Okay, that's, that's the tainted Chinese food and the commodities issue. All right, first up, uh, Ben, yeah. and I know the answer. Uh, certainly Ben does not think the Rockefellers are the only evil on the planet. He just concentrates on them because he's an ex-Canadian, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the nearest issue in terms of dealing with the, the uh, Chinese secret society because the Rockefellers are the ones who are probing and pushing from Japan. Yeah, well, the Rockefellers really are at the top of this particular pyramid. They are the eye, okay? That's what you got to remember. There's, below them, there's also people who want to be the eye, but right now they're the eye, so you've got to concentrate on them because that could change everything. Uh, but as far as the depopulation is concerned, you see, uh, these people do not know how to deal with other cultures. They do not know. They think that, you know, there's a problem of third world farmers burning down forests so they can feed their families and destroying all the nature on the planet, right? So they think we've got to purge these people. But that's not the answer. The answer is to make these people prosper so they don't have to slash down forests. In other words, poverty is the real environmental problem. So these people think all these poor people are the environmental problems. So we've got to get rid of the poor people. But that's not the answer. The answer is you make them rich and there won't be an environmental problem. And so they got it all ass backwards. And they just don't know what they're doing because uh, they are run at the very top by some incompetence. There's so many, it would be so easy to stop all these problems. Uh, so, yeah, they think always the only solution is to, to purge the world of these devouring human ants. Uh, and they're wrong. They're dead wrong. But, yeah, all sorts of people have been saying this. Uh, and they also think that uh, it should be the inferior races that should go. And, of course, that is nonsense. That's pure nonsense. The, the differences are cultural, not racial. And that's something that's very thoroughly scientifically proven for now. Your, uh, point, your point about them wanting the inferior races to go is uh, adequately and uh, certainly very clearly pointed out when one studies the origins of HIV, AIDS, and what it has done to sub-Saharan Africa and what it is doing down there. Uh, Seventy-five percent of the people of reproductive age in many of the countries in sub-Saharan Africa have uh, AIDS. They're going to die. And when they contract this new form of tuberculosis called XDR-TBSA1, they are literally dead in 8 to 14 days. So apparently AIDS isn't working fast enough. We know the AIDS medicines are uh, largely a, a joke and a scam as well. So, yeah, the, the disrespect for the so-called inferior peoples of the planet is quite blatant when you look at the Satanists and uh, the evil right. elite, no doubt about it. We just have about a minute uh, before the break, then we'll come back and ask you the second part of John's question. But uh, go ahead, Ben. Yeah, I know. The, the thing is that I have seen a, a 
family that my parents have known for years. They started out as peasants in Mexico, and they lived in a slum, and now they're all doctors and dentists. And this took just two, three generations. That mm -hmm. can be done with anybody on Earth. Mm -hmm. Anybody mm -hmm. on the planet can be turned into a doctor or a dentist or whatever. It's a matter of, you know, providing them the tools they need. It's also a discipline drive. It's a cultural thing as well. I know that when sure. uh, the Vietnamese were being uh, expelled or escaping from Vietnam, they came over here by the hundreds of thousands, and 95% of them were completely off all forms of assistance and welfare within 12 months. Many of them went on to become highly paid and respected professionals. As you point out, they were Asian in origin. They had a different discipline. In fact, the University of California had to put a limit on the number of Asian students accepted because they were actually taking over the dominant role in the percentage of students on campus. They're that competent. They have parties where they study together. <laughs> That's what they do. So it's a matter of discipline, cultural ethics, and values. Okay, very good. Stand by, Ben, and uh, yep. John in Canada will come back and find out uh, what Ben has to say about the flood, and this is what we know about so far, of tainted Chinese human food, pet food, kids' toys, clothing, even flip-flops or rubber sandals. I hope you've seen the story at rents.com about that. Some guy went into a Walmart, bought himself some little rubber thongs for his feet. Take a look and see what happened to him. Cool. It's unreal. Be right back in just a few minutes. Okay, and we're back. Our second exclusive conversation with journalist Benjamin Fulford from Japan tonight. It'll be in the archives, of course. I'm also going to make it available free for everyone to listen to at rents.com. We'll have it up as soon after the program as we can. So what about this deluge, and this is what we know about so far, Ben, of what? tainted Chinese products. Now, we're talking about pet food, human food, Kids' toys, even sandals, as I said, lots of things, and the Chinese are not happy about it. Well, you know, um, I talked to a Chinese government official about this, and he said the, uh, about the pet food, right, was that it was inspected when it left China. They always inspect stuff they export to the U.S. Well, they check and it for protein through. content, but the melamine apparently has an ability to jack up the protein reading, so maybe they did inspect it, but that's as far as they went. Well, anyway, their version, I don't know if they're right, is that something happened in Panama, and something was put into it in Panama. Ah, could have been cut. So like they, they think do. it was sabotage. They think yeah. there was someone out there to smear the Chinese by sabotaging their mm. product. Or and make a buck now, by simply stepping on it, as they say, and cutting it with something else. Eh, possible. Right. I mean, and so I think that there may be something to that. At the same time, though, I mean, China has a long history of making rip-off copies, and they've been doing that since the at times the emperors when they, you know, people making fake official ceramics. They were so, making fake Jordache jeans and Levi's back then, were they? I see. Sure. I mean, so so <laughs> there is a problem with uh -huh. uncontrolled Wild West capitalism in China, and and they're aware of it, and they, you know, they've been. Executed people who, you know, let, letting this stuff happen. So they are cracking down. They do have problems, but I do believe they also have a case to, you know, make that there is some deliberate sabotage going on. Some of the stuff looks suspicious. Like it wasn't the Chinese, but somebody out to smear the Chinese. Uh, yeah. And I have heard of a plan to create a financial crisis in China. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Chinese are aware of it, and they're not going to let it happen. Are they, are they backing themselves 
with their dollar holdings and American assets against such a such a crisis, a contrived manipulation to try to take them down economically? Well, what happened with the dollar holdings? Is